We are on location in Port Gamble, setting up our first shot for Harvest Moon. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'll be playing all of the women. And we have our great dressing room set up for the actors. <laughs> we are doing some scouting around here in Port Gamble. We found a great location for the mayor to address town in front of the, the Port Gamble Theater. And the um, general store has some great locations too, so we'll be asking them for some permission to see if we can shoot there. Okay, so... We'll he's going it. to be inspired by the Dean from Community with the amount of Ready? touchiness right, he's going to be uh, manhandling Pete with. Everyone, this is Pete. He's Grandpa's grandson. I <laughs> understand, you're so gross. I hate milk! Okay, let's try I'm so scared. We only get one shot of breaking it. Yep. So it just means that we need to not only have it lined up right, but that we're sure it will break. I'll be dropping this jar of milk from the balcony because yeah. Karen hates milk, so she's gonna throw it on the ground because she's an adult. Camera's rolling! Oh, that was a perfect splash. <laughs> so we had to shoot a bar scene, but we didn't have any gels this morning. So we made our own gels by, we found a beach ball, and we cut that beach ball in half, so you can fit it over the light like that. And then we also found some other, other plastic for gel, and it was free. This is why we should actually just go buy gels. But it's free. And it's currently a balmy 42 degrees in Seattle. We need to make the harvest goddess look like she's flowing magically in the wind. Magic. Like Galadriel. Let's, look, we're gonna make her freeze, so let's turn this off until we're ready, because our cameraman is not running the real camera. <laughs> We're on our second day of shooting Harvest Moon. We drove an hour and a half down to Olympia, Washington, so we could find Pete's farm. The farm that Grandpa left him. The whole reason why Harvest Moon even exists, and he and Pete gets to come to this town and meet all the girls. Look at this full-size beast cow. Oh, wait. How's your buddy there? What we're doing is creating a bunch of stock footage of flowers. Just have the flowers basically pop up out of the ground um, as soon as he waters them. You've probably seen this technique used in Freddy W's Flower Warfare video, which is why we're, we're doing it. It's a great idea. We're trying to herd the cows over to the windmill so that we can get them in the shot. Fortunately, before we started Gritty Reboots, we were a cow herding business. I think this might be the first time anyone's ever successfully trained a tiny cow for a film shoot. <laughs> 